Bacterial endocarditis is an infection of the heart that could result in death. Yes. Dr. Greg Silverman, the pro, the one and only, we joins us. We have like four patients now that have bacterial endocarditis. When you that see, is, is why it I'm rare? Or do you well, it, it isn't, except for this week, <laughs> generally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're seeing it in, in drug addicts, and that's how most of them got it. Drug, some sort of uh, in, I, I, infectious from, the, from uh, injecting drugs into their system. So don't do that. Stop doing that. Okay, so what happens here? I know we have some pictures. Yeah, we got some pictures. Basically what it is, is an infection of the lining of the heart, most of the time on the valves. And it generally happens on valves that are damaged or are replaced, that is, that is replacement valves or some sort of abnormality to the valve. Uh, and the, the bacteria sets up there and starts destroying the valve and can, and can lead to uh, infections in other places. So it's not like plaque that builds up and prevents no. blood flowing in this, eats through the, eats the through lining. The, eats through the lining of the valve, can cause uh, new types of murmurs, either stenosis or uh, just the re removal of the valve basically, and the valve ring itself can get infected and you can, yeah, that, and that has to be operated on. So I was gonna say, what, what is the treatment for this? So you start with like aggressive uh, prescription? Very, very antibiotics. You gotta, you gotta have intravenous antibiotics to stop that. If that doesn't work, uh, uh, generally, the valve has to be replaced. There's certain things that have to that have to happen. That is that the valve starts throwing emboli off. That is septic emboli. Uh, the valve has to be replaced. If the valve is completely destroyed. The valve has to be replaced. So it sounds like this is nothing. Has nothing to do with heredity, uh, no. age. It's simply no. you said drugs. There, there are there are well no there are other things like if you've already had damaged valves, okay. if you have a replacement valve, uh, certain types of indwelling catheters. If you have a long-term indwelling catheter, those can get infected, or certain types of other devices, certain types of pacemakers if they're indwelling for a long enough period of time sometimes they increase their risk of having uh, uh, endocarditis but so you have to be aware of that now we have changed the rules on who gets prophylaxis for endocarditis that is when you have your teeth cleaned or certain things not everybody needs to have antibiotics beforehand but some people do and so talk to your physician about I have this I've had this I have had some sort of condition do I on this procedure do I need a, uh, antibiotics beforehand. Generally, really the only ones are oral types of pr uh, procedures, some types of lung procedures. Generally, everything else does not get uh, prophylaxis for that. Okay, Dr. Silverman, we appreciate you, sir. Thank you so Bye. very much. Like I said, the man. Thank you. Bye.